Alright, what I'm going to do is basically just put together the SRV3 and uh, I'm going to do it quickly here because all my buddies want to play some Xbox. So what we have is the frame of the SRV3. Notice it's three wide towards the front of the barrel, two wide towards the back and that's because the exoskeleton is over the back and not the front. If you look here I got one slot connectors that are kind of keeping it spaced apart towards the back not up front and that's for weight purposes. I'll probably put some spacers up there eventually. If you look towards where the trigger assembly is going to be since it is a ballpup design it forks out like so. So very important to have that fork to keep everything in line. Um, so that's that. I'm just going to start assembling things so let me show you here. This is the trigger assembly. There you go. So, all put together, it looks like this. Every piece is there for a reason, so if you decide to change things up, let me know. Because um, this has been, it looks simple, but man, it is uh, quite, it took a lot of testing to get it right. So, that's the trigger assembly. Um, exoskeleton. This just basically snaps right out of the frame of the gun. Um, I got different variations here towards the front, just for different testing purposes. As you see out here, I got the red slot con or the red connector in comparison to the gray and the blue and all this stuff. Just testing out different uh, different fronts based on the different connections I have here. Um, handle the way it's on here. The way it put, is put on the gun um, is actually like right in here. The way it's put on here is very important and it changes the angle that this thing sits which basically holds the bullet so super important that this angle is not messed with unless you know you do a lot of testing and get it right because depending on how this is holding or not is going to depend on how strong your your gun's going to be able to hold you know resistance back and it won't work if you don't do it right so let me throw this together. All right. I'm going to throw this side of the exoskeleton on. And all this does is kind of just go between the rods. Pretty cool. So now you got the exoskeleton on one side. Okay. Let's see if I can get a better angle for all this for you guys. Okay. Now. Probably the trigger assembly should be done, done next. So, how this works, trigger and your handle. You need to both basically just, I don't know why, this piece. It's going to go from this point here to that point there, a couple blue pins, and keep it all together. So, let me get this in like that. There you go. Get our trigger and handle kind of thrown together like that. Blue pin again holds all this together. I like that. It's just a bunch of blue pins holding everything together. It's pretty cool how that works. And then finally, let's stick our Take a yellow rod and you're gonna stick it up through here like this. Okay. Let's get this on up towards the trigger. Okay, like that. It's kind of the tricky part here. Okay, there's that. Get that reattached and we should be good. Alright. Stick this one in here too. This one's gonna go on the other side. Okay, there we go. Okay, everything should be good. Oh, that's why it's not lining up. Hang on a second. There we go. Alright, stick this pin back through. Okay. And I got one more pin here, and this pin is gonna go. If I remember correctly. 
just like that. And there's the triggers up above it, and then that attaches like that. So you got three blue pins, one, two, and three. This back one keeps the trigger up and also attaches the back of the handle. This one here mounts, help mount this uh, little cradle that I have for the, the handle. Notice the, the spacing. And so now you have your trigger. So if you look real close, you can see the whole assembly, whole assembly working together there. All right, so that's that. Let's get the other side of the exoskeleton on. Since we're all good to go with that. Pretty cool how this whole thing just sort of snaps in there. This is your cheek rest. Throw that on at any time, I guess. Why not now? Little cheek rest on there. This is the front where the bipod will eventually be attached. See how you can go snap up or down. Okay. That snap in there. Okay, that's good. Back of the gun. Nice comfortable stock. Monopod attached. Let's get that on here. This just attached to the exoskeleton. Boom, just like that. So now, if you want to check, make sure everything kind of works. Okay, everything is working. You take a couple size 64 bands, you attach them to that rod right there on the trigger neck. Cheek rest needs to back up a little bit. And then that just attaches right through there. Make sure that's on there a little bit better than that. Okay. And then one on the other side so you get an even pull. Okay. Just like that. So now, when you pull your trigger, it snaps back. See that? And that little clip connector, the blue one, basically hits piece in the middle here. If I were to take that out, this little green rod will slip right through, see? It kind of extends it further than it really needs to be. So, put this back in there, which does affect your trigger pull, which will affect performance. So you really need to make sure that the angle of this will it, just know that the angle that your, your handle is attached will basically determine how far this goes down or up and determine how they got to perform. So it's really important you get that right. So that's your SRV3. Now we got to stick the front on. So to do that, we got to kind of hold these down like that. And then make sure you put it on the right side. Get it on first. There we go. Now let's hold it down. Making it hard, making it look hard, huh? Making it look hard to operate. Let me stand up real fast and try it. There we go. All right, so that's all on there, and then. All you do now is you attach your bands. I got it attached to the middle here. And then when it's done, it will, it'll have a better connection, but I'm just real quickly showing you how you can get these on here real fast. And then wrap that around a few times. But I won't do that for now because I'm trying to show you how this all works. Okay, there's that. Stick these on. Okay, good. And now, just for temporary purposes, I'm going to wrap this on here a little bit better. Alright. <laughs> it's kind of a mess right now. There. There we 
we go. All right, and then at the very front of the gun, you want to make sure you have two yellow rods, and you put them right front. And this will pr prevent that ratchet front from coming off. That's your SRV3. I'll show you how the ratchet's working. I like to actually hold my ratchet parts down while I bring it down. And load it from a steep angle, kind of like that. And then, boom. Good to go. Pretty cool. It's working great. Really, really excited about how it's working. And I just retract it. that. hope you guys saw how it's all thrown together and uh, can maybe start working on it.